Hi, to welcome to today's cooking show. Today, my mother Ramona is going to be doing all the cooking while I finish my homework. Hi, my name is Ramona, and I will be doing the Blue Apron cooking for this wonderful recipe, spiced pork, that I received in a delivery yesterday evening. I unpacked it yesterday, put it in the fridge, oh, you forgot and, the pencil. oh, all right. In anticipation of cooking this meal today, I hope you enjoy my cooking skills or lack thereof. I'm going to put this microphone down because I don't think I can cook with it. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to prop up my directions so that I can follow them very easily. Um, I wish I had a really nice stand for my um, directions, but I don't, so I just prop it up against the wall. So the first thing it says is to prepare the ingredients and to preheat my oven to 475. Now I'm going to wait to heat up my oven because my air conditioner broke and it's 80 degrees in the house. So I'm going to just heat it up right before I'm going to need it because I don't want to get overheated. Um, so I cheated a little bit. I washed and dried my fresh produce um, because that for me takes the most amount of time. So I already did that and I have it all ready, but I didn't prep it completely yet. So, I have my onions that I've already peeled, and I'm going to peel and half two of the onions. Now, I'm going to use the smaller ones, um, just based on my judgment. I don't know if that's going to work out, but that's what I'm going to do. So, it says to peel and half two onions and cut crosswise into one inch thick pieces. So, I'm going to half them. And then I'm going to cut them into one inch thick pieces. Now, I'm not gonna get a ruler because that would be, nobody would even notice. So I'm just going to cut them in approximately one inch pieces. And I have my bowls here, so I'm gonna put them in my bowls. Okay, here it goes the half. And here we go with the other half. Now, that one was a little bit smaller than an inch, but I'm sure it'll be fine. So that was one onion and a half. Here is the second onion. Okay, so that's done. Peel and roughly chop the garlic. Now, I really like garlic, and it says to use, I believe, four cloves. So what I did was I had one big one and a couple small ones, and so I actually have one, two, three, four, five, six, but I really like garlic, so I always add a little extra. So I'm going to roughly chop it. And like I said, I am using a little bit more garlic than it calls for. And Thankfully, I have a pretty sharp knife because all of this chopping requires sharp knives. And I have lots of different knives. But this one is my favorite. Oh, and this is my son, Eric, here. Do you have a question on your homework, dear? No? You just wanted to be on camera? Thank you. So, my kids really love this blue apron because different recipes come all the time. And I work and I do all the shopping. And I get stuck in a rut and I usually end up making the same thing all the time, which is pretty healthy, but then not very diverse. So this Blue Apron has helped us eat things we wouldn't normally eat and have fun in the kitchen. So now I have to drain and rinse my beans. So I'm hey, just going to go drain them. Oh, yes. Want to take a selfie? Sure. All right. So I'm going to drain my beans over here in my sink. and put them in my bowl. All right. Finally chop the cilantro leaves. So, I'm always happy when it allows me to chop the stem as well because then I don't have to cut, take all the little leaves off of the stems. So I'm going to finally chop it. Now growing up, I always cooked with my mother 
and she didn't like chopping. So I would always have to prep all the dinners for her. She would call me up when she was from work because I was at home and she would say, Ramona, we're having this tonight. Can you get this, this, and that and chop it all up and have it all ready so when I get home all I have to do is cook. So I did a lot of chopping growing up and so as a result, I also don't like chopping and I'm waiting until my girls get old enough to do all the chopping for me. Until then, I am chopping. So the cilantro, I just keep piling it back up together so that I can get it all together and finally chop it. I'm not usually worried about it being too finely chopped because I don't mind having big pieces of cilantro in my food. Let's get that away from the garlic. Okay, so I'm gonna put my garlic in this littler bowl. Now, if I had everything I wanted, I would also have a sous chef who would chop up all of these things for me. Let's get all the little pieces of cilantro out. Okay, so that's that bowl. And I've got my onions in this bowl, my bigly sliced and thickly sliced, excuse me. My cilantro over here, I'm just gonna leave it on my cutting board because I think I ran out of enough little bowls. Okay. Oh, I forgot when I was chopping the big slices of the onion, I was also supposed to slice, slice this one into little, little finely chopped pieces. Okay, so we had a little bit of a complication. The video stopped because I ran out of storage on my camera. And so I had to spend the last 20 minutes or so downloading a bunch of videos and some photos and then deleting them so that we could continue. Now I believe where I had ended was I was finally chopping the last part of this onion, which is perfect because that's where we are. So let me continue chopping this onion for you. And like I said, chopping is my most favorite thing. Not really, but it's actually kind of therapeutic after a long day of work and doing homework with the kids, I'm, I'm actually really enjoying all of this chopping and this blue apron. The recipes are different than some what I would have dreamed up. Usually I spend 30 to 40 minutes cooking dinner most nights and I'm always wondering what I'm going to cook. And so sometimes while I'm at work, I'll get a little bit stressed out thinking, what am I gonna feed these kids? There's three of them. Um, I don't wanna feed the same thing all the time. And Blue Apron has really made it easy for me to feed my children different things all the time, not have to worry when I go to the grocery store that I'm not gonna have what I need. Even though I usually stop almost anything to make anything at any time, because you never know. However, I'm not, worried about being creative all the time and it shows up at the door. I've got exactly what I need. I don't have to worry that I'm not going to have what I need. And so it's just made life a little bit easier for me, despite chopping, to get food on the table that's delicious and different so that my kids learn to eat different things when we go to restaurants also. So my children who are sitting at the table doing their homework and not eating candy watching me film this video are going to enjoy this delicious dinner. Okay, so I've finally chopped everything up. I think everything's chopped at this point. I could probably start cooking. Now I already lined my sheet with aluminum foil and put it to the side because that's what we're gonna use for the oven. And like I had said, it's hot so I have not turned on my oven yet because my air conditioner broke. However, I did end up opening the window and got a breeze and you can hear the birds chirping. Hey maybe. mom, can I have a cookie? Can you have a cookie? Well, dinner took a little bit longer so I'm gonna let my kids have a cookie if they sit down and go do their homework. One cookie a piece, you sit down and do your homework. That was Johanna. Okay, so I lined it and I need to pat my pork dry with paper towels. And I've already put this on the plate because I did not want you to have to see me awkwardly cutting open the dish. I mean, the package of pork. Not a dish yet, but it will be. Okay, so I pat it dry with my paper towels. And then I'm gonna season it all sides with my salt, pepper,
pepper and spice blend. I'm gonna pour this excess juice off because I really don't want it in my pan. Okay, so there you go. All right, so now that that's thrown away, because I wanna make sure that any meat juice or anything raw ends up in the trash can as opposed to on my counter, um, let me wash my hands really quick. Okay, now I'm always usually very careful to wash my hands every time I touch meat before I do anything else. Okay, so I'm gonna salt and pepper each side. And then I'm gonna use my spice blend, which I've opened up already, which is really nice because they have these beautiful spices. And when you're cooking for kids, sometimes it's difficult to get creative with your spices. I'm going to turn it over. Now I'm going to use my other hand because like I said, I don't like to touch the meat and all my other stuff. Salt, pepper again. Yes. Hello, Eric. Hi. All right. And Mom, then I'm going to rub you, this in. Mm -hmm. After you make um, dinner, can you yes. help me with my homework? I'll help you finish your homework. Now, I know you've got most of it done, right? Yeah. Can you throw that in the trash for me? Yes. Don't breathe it in. No, trash is the other way. Go the other way because the trash can's the other side of the kitchen. Okay. So I'm going to get all this rubbed in. And I'm going to drizzle my pan with olive oil, I believe. Let's see. Is that where I am? Yeah. In a large, high-sided pan, which is this one right here, I'm going to heat my olive oil at first. I am going to wash my hands again. Thankfully, we haven't ever gotten any kind of bacterial poisoning or anything from meat in this house. So let me wash my hands. Here's my paper towel. That spice blend is a little bit tough to get off, but that's okay. So let me turn on my pan. <coughs> I think I have little spices in my throat. Put my olive oil. I don't actually measure it. Be right back. do is we're going to let the olive oil heat up, add the seasoned pork and cook, turning occasionally for four to six minutes until it's browned in all sides. And then I'm going to leave all the brown bits in the pan because that's what makes all the rest of the food taste delicious. Now, now is the time I'm going to turn on my oven to 475 and preheat it. So I'll be right back. Luckily, I have a nice oven and it's going to heat up pretty quickly. So by the time I'm done with this, it should be ready to go. You'll probably hear it beep in the background. Okay, so add my pork, turning occasionally four to six minutes or until browned. Now I don't want to wash my hands again, so I'm going to use my tongs to do this. There we go. A little bit of splatter, that's all right. Okay, so I've got this on medium-high heat just like it says. And I'm gonna cook this for four to six minutes until it's browned on each side. Now, I don't know if you wanna watch me for four to six minutes. Maybe you do, but I'm gonna use a little bit of magic and push pause. Okay, so my daughter was concerned about how long it was gonna be till dinner because she thought I said 46 minutes on each side. And she said to me, Mom, 
She said, my cups take 40 minutes to cook meat. And I said, no, you're right. It's going to take four to six minutes on each side. So the smart little girl here already knows that it can't possibly take 46 minutes in the pan to cook the meat. You can only imagine what that meat would look like if I cooked it for 46 minutes. Now, it would look off because it would, wouldn't it? Now I have the window open. Normally I would turn this fan on and vent my kitchen, but because I don't want to make a lot of noise so that we don't disturb the video, because it's actually, this has actually been kind of fun. I'm gonna just hope that the steam goes off my window. Okay. Now, you're probably wondering, because I talked, I mentioned how it was 80 degrees in this house. You're probably wondering where do they live that it's 80 degrees inside the house. We live south of Palm Springs in the very low desert, one of the 10 hottest places on earth. So when your air conditioner breaks and it's 80 in the house and you're cooking over a hot stove, it can get a little bit warm. So if I start to sweat, don't mind. Hopefully it'll be all right. Now, we'll go ahead and do this. Yeah, so we're, this is looking pretty good, actually. This is gonna be very exciting. So after we do this, we're gonna be caramelizing the diced onion after we get all of this put on the tray for the stove. So we're gonna place, cook all of this, leaving the brown bits. And then after this is all done, we're gonna place the sliced onions in a medium bowl. We've already done that. Drizzle with olive oil and season with salt and pepper. So I've got these over here. So while that's cooking, I'm actually going to do this. Now, like I said, I don't actually measure because I'm not really worried. You're going to eat that onion? All right, go for it. Mm, yeah, pretty good, huh? So luckily I have kids who are very adventurous when it comes to food hey, right. and will eat mostly anything. Play? Yeah. All right, so. I like to sear it on all sides. So I'm just going to put it on its end a little bit while I mix this up. Because it says salt transfer, and we're going to put this on the sheet pan and roast for 28 minutes until the onions are tender and pierce, can pierce easily with a fork. All right. That was pretty spicy. Yeah, I told you, but you know what? Good. All right, so we're going to get this all done. I'm actually going to just pour this on my pan here. You can't see it, but I'll show it to you before I put it in the oven. That's kind of a nice amount of onions. It looks pretty good. I'm going to wash my hands again. So Eric will keep you company. He's in the video. He'll keep my meat from burning. Flies. Oh, there's a fly. Great. Thanks, Eric. Okay, so flies in the video. I'm going to turn this over on the other side. Okay, so we're going to get all the sides. Then I'm going to get this on the pan and get this in the oven. All right, we're good. So, got that side seared. I'm going to do this side. Hold it there just a little bit so we can trap all those juices in when it's cooking. I have a friend who introduced me to this blue apron. She has her daughters cooking it most of the time. Her, her kids are a little bit older than mine. She has two, I have three. Her oldest, I believe, is 15 now. 15 or 14, I think she's 15. And she's been cooking a lot of these dinners and they've been having fun. All right, so I would highly recommend this for teaching your kids how to cook because you don't have to dream up recipes. I'm actually, the picture shows these onions actually to one side but I, I think I'm going to actually put these in the middle and put the onions around it because it kind of looks nice oh my daughter says you can't see what I'm doing can you see what I'm doing now okay perfect so I have my producer daughter Johanna who is making sure that you're gonna be able to see everything so I'm just gonna move these around because even though it's going to be in the oven, I think it's going to look kind of pretty. So I'm going to go put this in the oven. It is at 428, a little bit not quite where it's supposed to be, but I'm okay with that. So I'm going to put it in, and then I'm going to be setting this timer. I'm going to set it a little bit less. I always like to set it a little bit less so that, and I know you can't see me, but I'm afraid to move that camera. I'm going to set a little bit less. I'm going to set it for 25 minutes so I can just check on it. Okay, so
so we've got that going, timer's going, and next thing we're gonna do is caramelize the diced onions, okay? So I put a pot out here, but I think I'm not happy with the size of this pot. This pot is a little bit small for me, so I'm gonna use a bigger one. I'm gonna put this one out here, I think I like that one better. So I'm gonna get, while the pork is roasting and the onions are roasting, in this pot I'm gonna go ahead and heat my butter on medium high until it's melted. All right, good. Medium high, melting my butter. And then I'm going to be adding my diced onions, seasoning with salt and pepper, and I'm gonna cook them, stirring occasionally, only three to four minutes. Mom, I'm starving. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. So well, I'm sure that every parent on earth hears this. How much longer to dinner, Mom? Well, usually I'm not videotaping me cooking dinner, so today dinner's taking a little bit longer, so I would say 20 more minutes. So okay. you have a little bit more homework, go ahead and get it done. My butter's melting. Let me get my little spatula spoon. I love wooden spoons, I don't know why. Um, oops, Eric. What are you doing behind the scenes over there? Go do the, go finish your homework. Oh, actually, I would love it if you set the table. All right, perfect. So set the table, get it all ready because I anticipate no more interruptions with lack of space. So here I am. Butter's melted. Okay, so perfect. No, I don't think we're gonna need these spoons, but we're gonna need some forks. So go ahead and put the forks out. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my onions. Um, yeah, there's only three of us left. Um, Annika went to her practice for her sport, so she's doing that. She does competitive cheerleading. My sister came over to take her because I was doing this. So I'm going to put my onions in here, my butter on medium high until melted, and add my diced onions. And I'm going to put a little bit of salt and pepper. Now, I don't think I've ever used so much pepper in my life. Since I've been using Blue Apron, I've had to buy a couple of jars of pepper. Here's my salt. Love, I'm not afraid of salt. Some people are. <laughs> All right, go set the table for me. So I'm gonna just do this. Salt and pepper, stir occasionally three to four minutes until lightly browned and slightly softened and add my brown sugar. And I've got my brown sugar over here. Got it all ready to go. I don't mind my onions a little bit extra cooked, so we're good. But we're not even close at this point. So I've got my brown sugar ready. And I've got a half a cup of water that I need to get. So let me go and grab my half a cup of water really quick. So I'm getting my half a cup of water. Just gonna set it to the side over here so that it's ready when I need it. If you drip a little water, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so these are getting a little bit soft, which is good. My kids aren't afraid of onions. I've been throwing onions in all the food for years since they were born, just grind them up in a food processor. So I think they've been eating onions since before the age of one. My older daughter loves sliced onions and will eat them raw. You did that? what I do? Yeah, I did. I snuck, I would blend up stuff into your food and you would eat it. Gross. Yeah, no, I don't think so. It, it's given you the ability to taste all kinds of different foods now. And we can pretty much take them to any kind of restaurant and they'll eat off of the adult menu and love it. So I think Blue Apron is really nice because we've tried some Chinese food, I think we've had Thai food, we've had some Persian food, and I've cooked things I've never cooked before, nor would I have thought of cooking these things, and the kids have loved them. I don't think there's been anything that somebody hasn't loved. I mean, occasionally we'll get something where someone says, well, I really don't love it, it's not my favorite, but they're gonna, they're gonna eat it. So here we go, onions are almost done. Ready to go. Okay, so here goes my brown sugar. 
In goes the brown sugar. Good, perfect. So I got my brown sugar going and my half a cup of water and apparently I'm gonna have to cook this for 11 to 13 minutes. And what temperature does it say? So right now I'm on medium high until melted, salt and pepper, stir occasionally until it's softened, add my half a cup of water, and then 11 to 13 minutes. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit so that it's just kind of simmering really nicely. Now, I don't think I've ever made caramelized onions. I don't think I've ever thought about how caramelized onions were made, and now I know. And so if I ever wanna make these just because, I know how to do it, and I never thought about doing this before. And so Blue Apron's actually teaching me how to do certain things and cook different things that I wouldn't have normally thought of cooking for my family. Okay, 11 to 13 minutes. While my onions caramelize, I'm going to cook my beans. So what does this say? While the onions caramelize in my pan, so I'm gonna go ahead and move this. So I love my gas stove and when we bought this house, I told my husband I had to have a gas stove. I grew up with an electric stove. So I learned how to cook on an electric stove and I learned when you turn off the heat, it's still hot, take your pan off. But I love these gas stoves because I don't have to do that. So I'm gonna let my caramelized onions cook on the back. And now I'm gonna be cooking my beans. So while my caramelized onions cook, I'm gonna heat a pan of my reserve frog, which is all the little bits from that meat, on medium high until hot. My pan is not dry, so I don't need to worry about that because you saw me use plenty of oil, so it's not dry. Add my garlic and season with salt and pepper. Now, I think I'm gonna go a little bit light on the salt and pepper. I'm gonna let that heat up again because I've been, I was a little bit generous on some of the other dishes. So I'm, on this one, I might just sprinkle barely, okay? And I'm gonna stir my garlic occasionally just for about a minute until it starts to smell wonderful. And then I'm gonna add my beans and stir them around and I'm gonna be adding my honey. Now, I don't think I've ever put honey in my black beans, but I have a feeling, thank you, sweetie. You wanna take that over there for the sink? Thanks. I have a feeling that it's gonna be kind of like baked beans. And brown sugar, gar I don't know. This is gonna be delicious. I can't wait to eat it. From what I understand, this one, the Blue Apron Cooking Prize, Top Chef Prize recipe, um, we'll, we're, we'll see. Hopefully my opinion is the same as the chef's and it's gonna be amazing. So, I've got 17 minutes left on that roast. I don't need the microphone because as cute as it is, it does not really do anything. So here you go, babe. All right, so I'm gonna put my garlic. Ooh, nice sizzle. Perfect. I'm gonna heat that up. Got my beans, got everything ready. All right, so we're gonna heat that up. What did it say? One minute, it said. Heat up for a minute, and then I'm gonna add my beans. Oh, you know the one thing that, the one thing that bothers me about cooking shows, and I don't know if anybody's ever gonna be able to fix this, is you see people cooking and you can't smell how delicious it is because the smell of roasting garlic is incredible. Then the hostess or the host is always eating their food when it's done, and I never get to taste it. However, it is what it is. Now I've got my own cooking show here at my house. Got my garlic roasting, got my beans going. Ooh. And so I'll go ahead and add a little salt. Just a touch of pepper. Got that going. Now I'm going to get my vinegar, very good, get my honey going, now I'm going to get every bit of that honey out of there because that honey seems like it's going to be amazing to be delicious. Now I'm kind of, I would never have thought about putting honey 
into black beans. But apparently this was a very innovative recipe, which is probably why it won Top Chef. Who would ever have thought of putting honey with garlic? Like I said, I love to get every bit out. It seems a waste to leave any honey behind, especially when these bees work so hard. All right, got it all out. I'm happy. The bees are happy. Yes, babe? How many more minutes until dinner? Oh, 20 at this point because we've got 15 minutes on that roast. So I'm cooking my beans and it says seven to eight minutes until the liquid is reduced by half. Until it's a little bit thick, but not too much. My caramelized onions are going. So after this, after everything's done, it looks like everything's gonna be done right around the same time. I've got 14 minutes on that roast. I think I've probably got, what, seven minutes on these beans. And I think I've probably got about six minutes left on those caramelized onions. I'm not gonna to torture you for the next 15 minutes with my stories. Although I do have a lot of stories. So I will put you on pause and come right back because I think I'm gonna clean up a little bit. Okay, I think my beans are done. So I'm well, turning I my know. beans off. Now I'm still, these caramelized onions are almost done. So I'm gonna get ready to serve these dishes. So there's only three of us left. Dad's not home yet. Oldest daughter went to cheerleading practice. She's you mean there's only three of us here because when it sounds like there's only three of us left, that means the rest of us died. Nobody died. Um, two are gone, three she are needs here. She to learn better grammar. Apparently. All right, so I'm going to take this over here, and then I'm going to put them, well, I'm going to leave them there. That's fine because I have a feeling that we're going to just serve them right out of there. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm adding my caramelized onion to my black beans. I think these are ready, so I'm good. Happy with that. I'm gonna add these in here. Now, while we were on pause, I did a little cleaning up because I love to clean the kitchen, keep things clean while I am cooking because that leaves me with less to do afterwards. And so that by the time we sit down to dinner, the only dishes I have left are the dishes we're eating on. Okay, so we're mixing that. I'm assuming we're supposed to mix that up. And I'm gonna be adding a one quarter of that cilantro. Now, obviously you don't have to be perfect, so I'm gonna just do in half and do in half and add that in a little bit more. Kinda like it that way. Mix it up. This looks beautiful. The other thing about these dishes is it doesn't just taste good, but it actually looks beautiful. And everybody's usually excited to eat it. So I've got that all mixed up. A little bit more salt. I think I've got enough pepper, but well, just put a little sprinkle in. Okay. So we're good with that. I'm going to be taking out that pork as soon as it's done. It's got a few more minutes. It did say to cook the pork for 26 to 28 minutes until it reads 145 internal temperature. So I'm gonna put you on pause one more time and I'm gonna check the internal temperature of that pork. Okay, so I think my pork is done. My internal temperature is 145, which is perfect. So I'm gonna take that out. And I always make sure I keep my kids well away from this stove or the oven. So here's my pork, it looks beautiful. My thermometer's still attached, I'm gonna put it right there. All right. Okay, so let me get this thermometer out, we're good. These, these automatic, Thermometers are amazing. I love this. It alerts you when it's ready. Take that apart. All right. This is looking beautiful. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything ready. Like I said, the two family members who aren't here are going to eat later. However, I think I have two children here who are very excited to eat this meal. So what I'm gonna do. Is it time to eat? It's time to eat, set the table. Yay! All right, very good. So I, being a mother, don't like to wash extra dishes. So I'm just gonna take this meat, put it in one of our food dishes. These onions look absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna use my same knife because I don't wanna clean another knife. I'm gonna see what this looks like. So, absolutely perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and slice this, slice this up. I'm gonna do a little bit thin because when you have little kids, thick slices can sometimes be a little bit much to manage. So I'm gonna get this sliced up. Everybody's gonna be happy. This smells delicious. And I'm gonna get everything in these, I don't know what they call these. These are bowl plates, but what I find is with kids, these are the best plates to feed them with because they're not quite a bowl, they're not quite a plate, but the food doesn't fly off your plate because they've got these nice little edges that hold everything in. All right, this meat looks absolutely beautiful. So, I'm gonna look at this picture, see how they plated it, make it look mostly like that for the rest of us. So, got a seven-year-old, he'll be happy with that. That's Eric, he's seven. Then I have my 10-year-old, just turned 10, she'll like two pieces, that's Johanna. Then there's me. I'll go ahead and serve myself as well. Now, a lot of times I end up eating what's left over on the kids' plates because I hate to throw anything away. I absolutely refuse to throw anything away. So I always underserve myself so that when my kids don't eat everything, I can eat it. A little bit of beans, these beautiful beans. A little bit of onions, perfect. Johanna, that's yours. Take it to the table. Then we've got Eric, a little bit of beans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit of onion. And you can see how beautiful that, oh, I forgot the cilantro. Hey, Eric. Little bit of cilantro. Here are you, Hannah. I forgot your cilantro. Put this in your hand, a little cilantro on your plate. Okay, thank you. Eric, this is yours. You can come and get it. There you go. I'm gonna make myself my plate. Now these beans look absolutely delicious. I'm excited to eat them. We're gonna leave enough for the other two family members. Cut my roasted, oh, these are amazing. You wow. such delicious food, Mom. Thank you. I did not pay her to say that. Oh, a little bit extra onion for me. Looks delicious. A little bit of cilantro. I'm gonna put over everything. I don't know what they put on, but I'm gonna put on everything. So you can see, this is what it looks like. The spiced pork with sweet red onions and black beans. The Top Chef Guest Chef series, Brooke Williams, amazing. I can't wait to eat it. I'm assuming it's gonna be delicious or it wouldn't have won. Thank you for watching my video. I'm enjoying Blue Apron and it's kind of made our life a little bit more fun, more adventurous, great food. And we love eating it. And we love eating it. What about you, Eric? Do you love eating it? Yeah. Come over here and tell them you love eating it. I love eating love it eating too. It. See you later, Blue Apron. This is a Krusik family. We are going to eat our meal. We are not gonna videotape that. I hope you got to taste this meal too. Okay, so we have our two judges, our two Blue Apron judges tonight. Hello. And we have Johanna on the left, pretty green bow in her hair, and we've got Eric on your right. So, Johanna, Taste it and tell us what you think. What are your thoughts? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know how those judges do it. Okay, 
This is very good, very juicy, and I like it. Oh, all right. All right, you taste the meat. Johanna, you're going to have to taste those beans. Pretty good? All right, thumbs up from Eric. How about those onions, Johanna? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and those beans? The onions are fairly good. Fairly? That's it? The beans are good too. All right, Eric, what do you think? Oh, they're not going to be spicy, I promise. Once you cook them, they're super sweet. They're what do you delicious. think? Tell us exactly what you think. It's very good. Very good. No other descriptions? What about those beans? You like those beans? Thumbs up on the beans? All right. You've heard it, Blue Apron. We got a thumbs up and a very good and juicy meat. From here, the Krutzik family, Johanna and Eric, I will reserve my opinion for a little bit later. I'm sure I'm going to love it. Good night. Say bye-bye. Bye. Johanna wanted to say one more thing, Blue Apron. I hope you pick us for the winner, and I hope that you enjoyed our video. Well, I think this meal was delicious and it was too good for words. So Annika, how did you like this food? It was really good actually. It, I don't know, it was just really good. I see.